when you look at the current status of the Baltimore Ravens roster, you think about what their needs are right here, right now. Offensive line, uh, wide receiver, depth at the running back position, then on the defensive side of the ball, even though they signed Kyle Vinoy, edge slash pass rush, or some guys could end up stepping up. Uh, but there's cornerback, there's backup safety. Uh, so they got quite a few needs on the team right now. But uh, one need that hasn't been being talked about enough uh, is the return man position. And, and, of course, last year they had a little mix and match there. At punt return, it was primarily Devin DuVernay, then he got hurt. Tylen Wallace stepped in and stepped up, of course. The shout-out to that Rams game. Uh, but then at kick return, it would be Devin DuVernay, it would be Justice Hill. Uh, they would do a little mix and match in here and there. But we didn't have that guy at that position. Um, and now with the Baltimore Ravens having lost Devin DuVernay, there came a vacancy. And with the new kickoff return rules, they're a little weird and a little different, but they have implemented these new rules. So the kickoff is not going anywhere. It's changing, but it's not going anywhere. It would be nice to have somebody that specializes as a return man so they could assume that role. And that's why this is so exciting because the Baltimore Ravens are bringing in just that on a visit. A return man and, and somebody who is familiar with the area, I would say. Before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that y'all have been subscribing to the channel. Uh, y'all been leaving a like on the video, so I appreciate y'all like crazy. Thank you so much, team. Keep it clean. Shout out to all the new team. Keep it clean patrons. Uh, if you want to become a team, keep it clean patron, you go to patreon.com slash engraving viz. And shout out to all the team. Keep it clean channel members. Shout out to just really everybody, because the way that all y'all support the channel I thank you. I, I really, really do. I hope y'all having a great day. I hope y'all having a great week. I hope if, if this is your Friday, if this is the start to your weekend, I hope that it starts off with a bang. And maybe the Ravens could start off weekend off with a bang and get this signing done. Anyway, the Baltimore Ravens are bringing in somebody who's a familiar face, especially because he's from Baltimore. That being Deontay Hardy, the return man. Shout out to my guy, JB Smooth. I know my guy, JB Smooth, he went to school with him. And I'm sure a lot of y'all in the comment section, y'all will know him. A lot of y'all know him personally. And if you don't know him personally, I'm sure you will know of him, especially if you're from up that way. But Deontay Hardy, he started his career off with the New Orleans Saints uh, back in 2019. And he spent his first four years with the Saints um, and he was, again, primarily a return man Now he would get in on, on offense here and there They could use him on some gadget plays and whatnot He'd catch a couple passes here and there But his job was primarily to be a return man uh, So that's what he would end up doing with the Baltimore Ravens If he was to be signed with them Now his last year, he spent last year with the Buffalo Bills But they obviously, they have an amassed exodus of literally everybody I'm surprised Josh Allen's still on the team But they have an amassed exodus of everybody So he got on up out of there too uh, So he made it out before it was too late um, But now with the Baltimore Ravens They are bringing him in on a visit today And that's fun when you think about it, man It's fun when you think about the potential Of really having a true return man And this ain't no offense to Devin DuVernay Devin DuVernay, he was cool I like Devin DuVernay more so for kick return than punt return. Now, there was some punt return where he got, he got off on some now. But uh, with Devin DuVernay, and we always said this, Devin DuVernay, that straight line speed, it was there for sure. Shout out to him. Um, but it was the agility, the side to side, uh, making people miss. That was not his specialty. Not to say he couldn't do it, but that wasn't his specialty. Uh, I, I always felt like, in my opinion, that for Devin DuVernay, for him to get the, the kick return or a big punt return, then them blocks had to be perfect. But if everything wasn't set up perfectly, because he's not, he's not super shifty. And that's fine, because not everybody's going to be super shifty. That's A-OK. -okay. Um, but with somebody like a Deontay Hardy, he's somebody that he got the speed. Uh, he also low to the ground, but he is very shifty as well. And then when you get that extra motivation, like you playing at the crib, like shout out to Jadavion and Clowney, but you playing at the crib, that'll give you a nice little boost. That'll, that'll, that'll really make you feel like, oh, yeah, I'm here. This is what I've been dreaming about. Like you look at players like for the Baltimore Ravens specifically, you look at a guy like Torrey Smith. Torrey Smith uh, went to University of Maryland from the area and then got to play for the Baltimore Ravens. You think, you think they gave him a little boost? Yeah, I think it did for sure. 
Um, but with Deontay Hardy, this could be something uh, special. When you look at his numbers, let, let's take a look at him. Uh, his for his punt returns, um, he averages uh, ten point four yards per punt return, through, and this is throughout his entire career. If we go just to last year with the Bills, he averaged twelve point four yards per return, and he did get a, a ninety six yard punt return for a touchdown just last year so that is always good to hear especially when somebody recently got one and then we go to his kick returns when you look at those um his career average for uh kick returns is 25.2 yards per kick return so that is about one fourth of the field so as a kick returner they can make your job a lot easier especially they get that right return and then you think about like man john harbaugh Special teams coach, we got to have, uh, all special teams got to be on point, right? For sure. Because I remember a couple weeks ago, I, I got to admit, I, I was a little jealous. I was a little jealous of the Pittsburgh Steelers when they signed Cordero Patterson. Because I didn't even know he was a free agent. If I don't know he was a free agent, I would have wanted the Baltimore Ravens to sign him. But when I saw the Steelers sign, I was like, oh, I didn't even know he was available. I would have loved that the Baltimore Ravens signed Cordero Patterson. Especially with the new rules and stuff. And, and then just to have as a weapon... On offense, because he is a return man, but he ain't just a return man. He could do a lot more, too. Play a little running back, play a little receiver. I mean, Ravens know firsthand. Y'all remember the, the snow game, the, the the Vikings game, Ravens versus Vikings, the, the, the Marlon Brown game where he caught that pass in the back of the end zone for the win against uh, uh against the, the Vikings. That was when return men got they would they were emphasized heavily in that game because remember jacoby jones he got that return i think toby gerhardt he wasn't a return man he was a big running back but he got that big run then uh yeah they did cordero patterson he got a big uh play on us i think it was a screenplay i believe i believe it was a screenplay but anyway um he's been doing his thing in the nfl i feel like he's been doing his thing quietly in the nfl for years but just continuing to build up his resume and potentially get into the hall of fame as a returner he really could. But anyway, he is a Pittsburgh Steeler. But now with Deontay Hardy possibly getting ready to join the Ravens. Got to say possibly because ain't nothing set in stone. But this could be a nice boost. Think about the last time we had a returner that was from Baltimore. That's from the crib up there. That was Cyrus. Cyrus the Virus Jones. I remember Cyrus. And I would call him Cyrus the Virus because he was infecting your special teams in a good way for the Baltimore Ravens in a bad way for the opponents. But remember, he got a real nice punt return. I think he got a punt return for a touchdown on a, was it on the Raiders? I forgot who it was against. But Cyrus Jones was the last one. And, and I know, like, he had to feel real good playing at home, man. Because, again, that, that's special, man. Terrence West. Terrence West was another one. That got to play at the crib. And I, I know there's been more. That's the only ones I can think of off the top of my head, though. But like I said, it just it can provide you with extra motivation when you're not only playing at the crib, but you're playing for a team that's been pretty good and a team that's that's the, the close. The clo they are so frustratingly close. They just got to fix some stuff here, correct some stuff there. Make some adjustments over here. The Baltimore Ravens are close. And I know as frustrating, as, especially as frustrating as last year was, we all know how close they are. Getting a good return man can help. Because having a good return man, that makes everybody's lives that much easier. Because say, for instance, your offense, even if your offense is doing good, but say, for instance, your offense having a rough game. Things going a little bit slow. They're not scoring as much as you would want them to. They ain't putting up all the points in the world, but your defense is showing out. Your defense is holding down the uh, opposing offense. They got to punt the ball. Your defense just forced a three and out. So the other team got to punt the ball. Your return man gets back there. He catches it. He don't do a fair catch, but he catches it, starts returning it. Make one guy miss. Okay, we got five yards. Make another guy miss. Okay, that five yards turn into 13. Make another guy miss. Okay, that, that five yards that turn into 13 yards, they don't turn into 22 yards. And, oh, the blocks are set. Boom, to the crib. That is one of the best feelings in the world. I mean, again, remember the Tylen Wallace play against the Rams? Oh, my goodness, that was crazy. That was crazy. And remember, that was in overtime. And our offense had got the ball in overtime. But guess what? They didn't score. See, that's why having a return man is so essential. Remember the last time the Baltimore Ravens won a Super Bowl? 
Remember who was a huge part of that? Jacoby Jones. Not just in the Super Bowl, but in the regular season too. Jacoby Jones had been killing it. And not saying that that's the only way to get to a Super Bowl to have a good return, man, but it can certainly help a lot. 